Greetings once again, my friends. I must say it is good to see you. I just thought I'd take a little bit of your time to uh, talk about the Nezure rework that just came out a little bit ago. I know I'm a, I'm a little bit behind, but I've been very busy the past few days, so I think I'm okay with calling this uh, First Impressions. I have been playing him a decent bit these past uh, day or so, just to make sure that I feel confident in what I'm going to say, though. And what I can say is going to be uh, fairly short, but basically all positive. Basically, he's just uh, really, really fun to play now. And everything that he does works really well together. He used to be the frame that I kind of forgot existed, and I only ever got out if I wanted to slip and slide around for the memes. But as it stands now, I think he might be part of my new top five Warframes. I'm going to skip going into the nitty gritty details of exactly what they changed, because as far as I can tell, they literally just copied and pasted the dev workshop into the patch notes to tell what they did. I couldn't see anything else that was new or added or even changed for that matter. So if you want to know everything that happened, I already made a video detailing all that, and I will link it below. But let's not get off track here. Let's talk about this. I must say that the two goals they set out for with this uh, Nezure rework, that of making him feel smoother to play and just increasing his power and giving him a little bit more synergies and team value, they very much accomplished both of those two things. He just has this really nice flow to all of his abilities now, and they just, they all work, and they all do what you expect them to, and they're all useful, and they don't really interrupt what you're doing. It's, it's just, it's real good. Feels really nice now to be able to just turn on your Firewalker for the next 40 seconds, and then hop into the middle of a fight, pop warding halo and absorb all the damage and then have this massive shield that makes you nigh unkillable and if you need just a, that little bit more damage for you or your team you throw out blazing chakram which makes everybody take a ton more damage even at base and then if you happen to be you know in a bad spot you can just press four really quick and divine spears the heck out of everybody almost instantly I mean, they said they were going to speed up the cast time for Divine Spears, but they really, really sped up the cast time for Divine Spears. And hey, if you're still not killing guys fast enough, throw another Blazing Chakram into that and get double Blazing Chakram. He just... Everything comes together with this rework, and it's really nice. And they didn't even have to do that much. I mean, the thing they changed the most was Blazing Chakram and... They basically just said, hey, it hits people more often, and it gives them, makes them take bonus damage. There you go. That's all you need. It just makes me hope that they end up doing more reworks like this. That just give each Warframe just that little bit more that they need without taking a ton of, you know, work to, to get them to that spot. But making them actually good and viable. Now with that said, yes, this is very positive. I just want to say two things real quick that I would hope could be improved a little bit. The first one is that when you use Blazing Chakram, uh, it seems like it's worse when you're a client, and there, it's maybe even worse when there's more ping, but sometimes it just doesn't bounce to anyone. I noticed it a lot when leveling him, where I'd throw it out and it would hit the first guy and it immediately bounce back to me and end up behind me and not hit anyone else. But in my solo runs, it seemed like it was significantly more reliable. But even then, there were still some weird times where it just bounced places that I didn't expect it to at all. And it also seems like the hitbox on the ring itself is just a little bit big. In fact, if you were paying attention at the beginning of this video, the very first Blazing Chakram I threw, I thought was going to hit that guy, but it just bounced off of the level geometry that I thought was far enough out of the way, but it just ended up being useless. But that's enough about that. Let's get to the second thing. This one is even more minor and is really most of a personal thing, something that I specifically would like to see. They added a lot of audio and visual cues into his kit when they reworked it. 
which I thought was awesome. That kind of stuff is great. Just makes it easier for you to know important moments where action is required, like when your warding Halo dies. But I'd like to see them add one more. And this could also be applied to Rhino and possibly even Frost. I'd like to see some sort of unique visual effect on warding Halo to show the 4 second invulnerability period. Whether that be having the ring be less defined and faster during that and then it slowly slows down and becomes more solid to the ring that it normally is circling him. Or if it was just some extra fire circling around him or you know something like that. Something simple. But with uh, Neja and Rhino, I like to be able to jump into a fight where a bunch of people are shooting me all at once and then be able to stun them or stop them just before the invulnerability period ends. And if we got this one little change, it'd just make that specific situation a little bit easier. But that way you'd also know a little bit better when you're going to start taking actual damage instead of being completely invincible. But either way, I still think this rework is awesome. And it kind of killed a future How Would I Change Neja because he's really, really good now, and I can't really think of many other ways I would change him. But that's not necessarily a bad thing. So yeah, this rework was great, and you should definitely play Neja now. Also, his deluxe skin is fantastic. That was the second reason I didn't play Neja, was because I just didn't like the way that he looked at all. But now, he looks great, and he is great. But ideally, I'll go more into the skin in a separate video. So I won't bore you with me gushing about it here. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this brief look at New Neja and my thoughts on it. I'm going to try to do more of these and do them shortly after the release of said new Warframe or rework. Because, you know, a couple days or a week or two weeks after is, is a little late. <laughs> but we're working on it. But that's about it. So uh, I will see you next time.